Hi everyone, I'm sorry if the audio isn't too good. I've got my 3D printer going in the background, uh, printing new parts for my revised design. Now you'll see in the background is a, um, a little rig I set up to test the ultrasonic sensors and figure out how to use them to make adjustments to the servos to steer spot in the right direction. Unfortunately, during testing, and this can happen in a variety of ways, you'll end up driving a servo past its limit and the server will lock up and will no longer respond. Now, for me, this is a bit of a pain because I just ordered new servos a couple of hours ago and I really didn't want to have to go back and add another one to the order. So I did a little bit of research and found out that you can actually reasonably easily unlock a servo that's been driven past its limits. To do it, it requires actually dismantling the servo, but you shouldn't be too alarmed about that because it's really not that drastic. Now I've given myself a head start and taken out the screws already. In fact, I've already fixed this server, but I'll just go through the process again to show you how it's done. So you pop off the horn and then undo the four screws here. Okay, so I'll just take out the, the two that I left in for the purposes of the demonstration. As I say, you've you, you got to be a little bit careful, but as long as you're not silly, you won't muck things up too badly. So you just undo the screws. Undo the screws. Undo the screws, sorry. Okay, now, you want to probably keep the servo reasonably stable while you're doing this. And you just slip off the top. Now you'll see a number of gears inside here. These are all the reduction gears that uh, reduce the speed of the motor down to the angle of the servo. The one at the right hand side is attached to the motor and hence it's the lowest geared one. All you need to do to free the servo is just gently give that a bit of a spin. That will take the servo off its locked position and then it should be should start moving again. So then you don't want to touch anything else inside here. Leave all the grease on. Don't take anything further than what I've shown you apart. And then basically you just put the servo back together. And I won't waste your time demonstrating, but you'll have to trust me. That this servo is now freed from its locked position and is back in duty. As I say, this is it's inevitable that when you're doing testing, you're going to push things too far and do things wrong. And as I've said all along, that's been the goal of this whole video series, is to find out uh, what happens when you push things too far and go wrong. So I hope this has been helpful and uh, given you some tips on saving from having to buy new servos when you, when you think they're dead. Obviously, if you do drive a servo too far and keep driving it too hard, you will actually kill the motor. But this is at least a first step to take when you've got a frozen servo just to determine whether the problem is that it's been driven past its limit and has locked or that the motor's dead. So um, there you go, and that servo is now back in, back in service. So I have actually tested this, I did the fix and then tested it and then I'm just doing the, the fix again for demonstration. So I hope that was useful and I'll see you next time.